From the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, David Payne. Really nice. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We'll follow that for yeah, sure as sure. that makes its way a, through. An alley <laughs> named after me or something. <laughs> Back alley. <laughs> Tornado alley. alley. Nobody goes there. Yeah. Uh, you know, this this great weather we've been having, it's kind of yeah. has us forgetting about the severe weather that is in your nine day. Yeah, there's and a little bit. We we need the rain, too. We need the rain, and, uh, you know, this we're, March is anything can happen. We're not looking at crazy severe weather coming up, but I think some wind and some hail. We'll have some of that going on as we get into Thursday and Friday. Trackers are chomping at the bit. They're texting me, blowing my phone up. We got to go. They want to like, get out. You want to go where? I, <laughs> hang on. So uh, it's coming. The weather pattern is changing, and uh, hopefully... We'll just keep this rain going with a little bit of thunder, you know what I mean. We don't want to get too crazy, right? We know what crazy is, and we will have crazy eventually in Oklahoma with the big days of severe weather. That's inevitable. But right now, let's try to get some just general rain and thunderstorms in here. Might have a little severe, might have a little bit. Tonight, here's what's going on to our east. Upper storm moving away from us. Scattered showers and thunderstorms. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. But again, that is moving to our east. We are quiet right now. 53 degrees in Oklahoma City, a northeast wind at 11. Pretty light out there. Our humidity coming up now, 69%. Nice shot from our Integris cam here. There's the Hefner Parkway, Northwest Expressway. No travel problems in the morning due to the weather. It looks pretty good. Temperatures across the metro, a chilly 43 in El Reno to a nice 52 down in Norman. So you can see where the dry air is right now. West Oklahoma City, West Metro, from there westward, we even have some 30s mixed in here and there. So uh, it's cold here, and it's just cool as you move farther east. But the wind is very light out of the north, not much wind at all. All right, so tomorrow looks great. Tomorrow is amazing. Tomorrow is the best day of the week. The wind will not be strong. It looks good. And then tomorrow night, it starts tomorrow night. We get the beginning of that storm, which is in California tomorrow night, but out ahead of it, we have lift in the atmosphere. The tighter the lines on this map, the more lines you see, uh, the stronger the winds up top at about 20,000 feet. So we're going to get some lift going on. We're going to have a warm front lifting back in here. So a wave of rain and storms tomorrow night into your Thursday morning. And then the main wave comes out on Friday with rain, cloudy, kind of windy, cold, all the above, and even some snow, yes, in our panhandle. Saturday is going to be dry, but cool. Sunday looks great. And then another storm possibly by the end of next week. That might bring us a little more stronger, organized, severe weather. Future rainfall around the metro, it'll range from a quarter to maybe a half an inch between your Thursday's rain and storms and Friday's rain and storms. So if this pans out, we're doing okay. Edmond, Guthrie, downtown Oklahoma City, the rest of Oklahoma, we're going to see least amounts of rain in the west, higher amounts of rain as you get into eastern Oklahoma. Again, this is a two-day total between Thursday and Friday, but what I like is at least we're getting some rain back into the panhandle, a little snow, but also back into western Oklahoma. So Metro Future Next Gen Live. Let's talk about Oklahoma City. Quiet tonight, quiet tomorrow. And uh, here's your timestamp, right? Take you through 3 a.m. Thursday morning. Still dry. A couple showers begin to pop up. 6 a.m. Thursday morning. Look what's going on across the metro. Scattered showers, a few thunderstorms, nothing crazy. And look at 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock Thursday morning, okay? So that wave is going to hang around through lunchtime, right? Noon, here comes kind of a second little piece of energy. And then by the afternoon, we might get a little bit of a break. And then additional storms will develop as we get into Thursday night and into Friday. Here's your big view on that. Watch the scattered showers and storms again come out as we get into Thursday night. Uh, tomorrow night into Thursday morning, and then again Thursday night and into Friday morning. So really, it's kind of two waves of precip headed for Oklahoma. All right, so again, I like it. We need the rain, so let's bring it. Let's bring it on in here. All right, so lows tonight across the metro. Upper 30s, low 40s, 40 in Guthrie, 43 in Norman, 38 in El Reno, light winds. Tomorrow's highs across the metro, upper 60s, then near 70, beautiful light winds. Get outside. Tomorrow's the day. Tonight across the rest of Oklahoma, 30s in the north and west, 40s elsewhere. And then tomorrow across the state, upper 60s to the mid to upper 70s down south. And again, tomorrow is the day. And then tomorrow night, Thursday morning, a good 60 to 70 to 80% chance for rain, a little thunder in there. And then for Thursday afternoon, big warm up, 70s, some 80s in the southwest. But notice scattered showers and storms in the northwest late in the day, also to our southeast. And some of those could be strong, could be severe, 
not an outbreak of severe weather. The main threat is going to be some wind and hail. A dry but chilly Saturday, not bad. We'll take it. A big warm up Sunday. And next week, I like what I'm seeing. And then we got to watch for the end of the nine day. We're talking nine days out for the Oklahoma City Metro here. A chance for rain and storms and some severe weather returning. So here we go.